Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Right, uh, this is just a little personal video log and a quick hello and a catch up. Well, it's been, what, five weeks, four weeks, five weeks since I last made a video. Uh, apologies for that, but what can I say? Life has just ground to a halt. Um, there has been so little going on, so little to talk about, um, that I just haven't had cause to pick up the camera and uh, say anything or do anything. But I thought after five weeks, I thought I really ought to grab the camera, just get it out, even if it's just a case of saying a quick hello. Um, so hello, uh, I'm still here. I mean, I, I did manage to go camping a couple of weeks ago. Uh, went off to Damon's Field, met up with Damon and with Austin, and we had a um, a socially distanced camping trip. It was fine, it was good, it was nice to get away. Uh, it was kind of a working trip because we had to help Damon with a few bits on the field. Um, but it was good to see the other guys and uh, I did take my camera equipment with me but I just didn't have it in me to pick the camera up and make any videos. However, I did uh, get the drone out and I had a little flight of the drone and I got this footage which I'll show you now. So there we go, at least I got a little bit of uh, drone footage, a little bit of something, uh, so I had something to show for it. Uh, I have done some more work on Gwen. When you go camping in a self-build, you just kind of get on with camping, and at some point you, you sit down, you're either doing something or making something or trying to do something, and you think, ah, if only I had a this, or if only this was like this, uh, it would be better and it would work better. And I had a bit of a, uh, a, a few brainstorms while I was away camping. And one of the things I was struggling with was lack of storage space. Since I put the oven in, I've lost my two best shelves um, and they've kind of been demoted to these smaller shelves that you have to kind of stand on your head to see. So I decided I'm gonna build some more shelving units. So I did that at the back of the van and uh, also built in a big uh, cubby hole, which is like, um, it's like a cool box. I've lined it with um, Kingspan, which is that 25 millimeter um, insulation stuff and completely sealed it up with mastic. And so if ever I want to use my fridge as a freezer, because I can do that, uh, obviously if the whole thing is a freezer, then I'm gonna still need some sort of a fridge. So that is gonna become my fridge. And of course I can freeze the cool packs in the freezer and then just swap them out daily. So I've got a, a little fridge as well as a freezer. So uh, hopefully that'll come in handy if I go on longer trips. Now, originally I was looking at doing the Scotland 500 this year. Clearly that's not gonna happen now. And to be honest, I've, I've sort of, uh, I, at the beginning of the year, I was psyching myself up because as you know, I, I'm a little bit agoraphobic. Uh, it kind of comes and goes. I kind of suffered quite badly with it last year, but I kind of got on anyway. And I've been psyching myself up, building myself up to just, just kind of go and do some really decent camping this year. Maybe do a few extended trips sort of nearer to home and then 
once I'd build up that little bit of confidence, actually just go for it and go for Scotland. Um, but um, obviously, you know, we ended up with the whole lurgy thing. And unfortunately, my confidence has just gone flat again. And uh, so I may have to kind of build up to it again for hopefully for next year. I'm really hoping this is not going to be a thing next year um, because I'm, I don't know about you, I'm really, I mean, I was losing, losing it a few weeks ago. In fact, my last video, I think I was just kind of going absolutely stir crazy with this whole lockdown thing. Um, now, lockdown... To be honest, I don't watch the news. I'm not entirely sure where we stand with lockdown. My understanding, I think, at this stage is just um, go about doing what you're going to do, but socially distance wherever possible. And I think all the shops now, you have to wear a mask and masks are sort of mandatory um, in most inside most buildings that are public. Um, from th That's my understanding of it. But uh, anyway because I'm not going out at all still I'm still sort of locked down but not um, I don't think that's going to affect me I, I generally don't go to shops I normally have deliveries here and stuff as well uh, all thanks to the you know the agoraphobia thing but um, yeah the, the agoraphobia has sort of let's just say this lockdown has not helped the agoraphobia because it's just made it so much easier not to go out um, and unfortunately that's what I've not been doing is, is going out. The last time I went was camping, which was two weeks ago. The van's just been sat there, um, apart from when I um, worked on it and built those shelves. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's been Rick World. Although I have, I mean, I have been amusing myself at home. Um, I've, uh, you can probably, I don't know if you can see, I've swapped my living room round. Uh, so I've got the, like the TV on this side of the room now and uh, the sofa on that side of the room and had a little bit of a tidy up and a change around. Sorted the garden out now. Um, I think last time in the last video I was still just starting to work on it. I basically got rid of all the white stones. That was fun. Um, got rid of all the white stones and I put artificial grass down. Um, now I've left a gap for where the new conservatory is going and thankfully they were here to uh, measure up again a few days ago. Um, they've got to get the measurements just right because I'm going for the, uh, the like the stealth bomber roof um, because I need the roof to go up a little, little higher than normal because I, I've got some scarring on my wall that I want to cover. Um, but hopefully they're going to fit it in the next three weeks. So. Uh, um, or, or I've got a date booked sort of halfway through August and uh, they're going to come along and fit it. It's probably going to take a couple of days and then I've got to figure out some sort of flooring. I'm going to probably go for insulated floor. So I've got to build that myself. Um, so I've got a little bit of a, a project to do there. Um, but like I said, I've got the garden mostly done now. And another thing I've been thinking about for a long, long time and I finally managed to save up enough pennies to take the plunge. Um, I've always wanted an A3 printer, but I was getting fed up with the pictures I had. I had a few pictures on the walls, but they were very, very vanilla. They were just landscapes. I had a few just, you know, Dorset type landscapes. And you never look at them. There was nothing really compelling about them. They're just like you're like a, a garden variety vanilla landscape. And they just kind of made a thing on the wall that just that, that made the wall not blank. Um, but anyway, that's been bugging me for quite a while. I thought, well, how can I how can I do this? How can I get pictures on the wall? Because a lot of the time if you're buying pictures, you know, you sort of have to really shop around and then you, you find ones you like. But you'll you'll end up with this hodgepodge of pictures because that you know each each one that you buy has usually got a different frame, and uh, so I thought no I don't want that I want a little bit of uniformity. So with the A3 printer I basically printed my own pictures. I thought the beauty of this is I can print out pictures. I got them from the internet, um, and when I'm fed up with them I can swap them out for something else. So I bought a load of frames, an A3 printer and I've covered my house from, from top floor to bottom floor with pictures. I've basically gone for pictures that are little, a little bit more interesting than just bog standard landscapes. So first of all, 
all of the pictures are um, based in anime and that's because I love anime I've, I've probably mentioned this before but anime has some of the prettiest artwork you've ever seen especially landscapes and uh, it's just so atmospheric and the beauty of, um, of anime artwork especially landscapes is there's usually always something going on um, you know even if it's just subtle there's, there's always a little thing that you'll see in the picture that perhaps you didn't see the last time you looked at it and uh, so I was very careful very selective with the pictures I chose and uh, downstairs I've gone for a, a slightly culinary feel um, that was just by chance because I noticed most of the the culinary ones have got these these kind of reddish orangey hues and uh, so there's a lot of pictures here that are um, because they're anime, a bit of a Japanese theme, and a lot of them are kind of ramen noodle nighttime scenes. Uh, you know, these little 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 noodle bars and little food bars um, at night and little restaurants and things. And then up, further up the stairs, I've gone for a more summery, pleasanty, um, just sort of landscapey pictures. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. And the beauty of it is um, because of the, the printer, I can then, when I get fed up with them, I can just print more out and change the theme. Um, but I've been thinking about that for a long, long time. And I'm finally, finally taking the plunge and glad I did it. It's actually surprisingly difficult choosing which pictures go where. Um, but I, like I said, I bought a load of frames as well. And all the frames are exactly the same. Um, and I, I love pictures I think whenever you frame a picture in jet black um, it makes the picture pop and uh, so I went for all black frames and it, I think it was a really good choice and uh, it makes all of the pictures just really pop out and, and I just love these pictures I just love looking at them and quite often I'll catch myself just as I wander through the house just sort of end up looking and you know really looking because there's stuff going on in these pictures um, and I think there's a, there's a few pictures as well with a few little Easter eggs. And there was one, I just thought it was hilarious. And uh, there's this, just like a fairly mundane street scene. But right in the corner, there's just a little cat licking its bum. And, and it's just, it's just funny. I, I just found it, it just amused me. So uh, um, I, I went for that as well. But there's a few that have just got little, little Easter eggs in them. Um, but uh, there we go. So that's... Uh, that's what I've done with my house. I've sort of got a load of pictures on the wall and uh, sorted my garden out. So I've been busy, um, just not doing video making. <laughs> I just have so, I've had so little to talk about, so little to do. But, uh, oh yeah, the, the other thing is I'm gonna be getting some visitors come stay with me for uh, a week, maybe two, possibly three. We don't know yet. Um, and they're YouTubers. Um, I've met them before. I've probably mentioned them um, several times on my previous videos. Uh, really good friends. These are uh, basically travel. These people have been traveling for the last five years and um, they're stuck in Turkey at the moment, but they're flying tomorrow morning over to the UK. Uh, because their visas run out and they need to basically they need to leave Turkey and they're really struggling to find anywhere to go now because they have UK citizenship um, they can come here so I was chatting with them um, uh, earlier this morning and uh, I, they said you know do you know any anywhere we can go you know anybody got a house we can rent or whatever and I said well I've got a spare room you can come and stay here if you want and, uh, and so they took me up on it. So they're gonna come and stay with me. Um, and uh, we might make some videos uh, while they're here. I don't know, we'll see. I know um, it's basically Steve and Michelle from Steve's Kitchen. And uh, they're, they're fairly prolific in the video making. So no doubt they'll make videos when they're here. So I think as somebody who's completely the opposite and I, uh, I, <laughs> I'm not, well traveled i mean I'm, I'm the sort of guy that that rarely ventures outside his own postcode area um i thought it might be quite interesting to sit the camera on one day and just have a conversation in front of it and see where it goes you know sort of well traveled people versus insular um, reclusive guy <laughs> it might make for an interesting conversation i don't know um 
but uh, it, it might be good. We'll, we'll see. Like, there's, there's no promises. I, I don't know um, what their plans are, if they have any plans. I think for the moment, because they've, they've had a bit of a rough month um, with, you know, with all sorts of accommodation issues and visa issues and, and stuff, I think that they might just be looking to chill out for a little while. And they've come to the right place because I've built my house to be a shrine to relaxation. Um, everything about my house is designed so it can be a place where I can just relax and chill out. So hopefully they might pick up on that vibe and just be able to enjoy the place and chill out and uh, re rest and recoup. That would be nice. Um, so there we go. That's where Stan in Rick World. Um, I'm, I'll be surprised if anybody's actually got this far uh, because it's been all a bit self-centered and, you know, nobody cares. I <laughs> <laughs> for me, th this is more of a reference for me. I can look back on this uh, video in years to come and think, ah, oh, you know, yeah, that's what I was doing then or not. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so it's just a personal video log and uh, for my own reference. But if you want to watch it, then, you know, that's fine. So there we go. That's it for me. Do feel free to leave notes below. Let me know how you're getting on, uh, where you stand with this whole lockdown thing at the moment. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to leave notes below. Give us a little thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully that next video won't be another five weeks. Uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit sooner. So until then, take care and thanks for watching.